Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Glasses. This is my next video on the lab activity. And in this lab activity, we are going to perform the experiment determination of adsorption of acetic acid by charcoal. For this, we require charcoal and acetic acid. The first step is to prepare the stock solution of acetic acid. For this experiment, I have taken 20 ml of acetic acid concentrated and I diluted it with the deionized water up to 100 ml. So 20 ml in 100 ml. The second step is to determine its concentration. So concentration how we are going to determine? So we are going to determine the concentration of acetic acid by titration against NUH solution using phenolphthalein as an indicator. So this I have done in my previous video. You can go and check. The next step is to dilute the stock solution in for different concentrations. So here are the different concentrations and how much of the stock solution we have taken. I have written over here. So this is I am preparing the third solution of 0.3 normal. Right. And for that purpose, I have taken 8.3 ml of stock solution of acetic acid and I diluted it up to 100 ml. So here you can see this dilution is done by deionized water and this is of 100 ml measuring flask and I make up it up to the mark. Now this is my third solution. Similarly, we are preparing the fourth and fifth solutions. For the fourth solution, I have to take 5.5 ml of acetic acid and I again dilute it with deionized water up to the 100 ml mark. So this is how my fourth solution is prepared. Now preparing the fifth solution of 0.1 normal concentration for that I require 2.8 ml of acetic acid of stock solution right and I again make up it up to 100 ml. So in this manner I have prepared all five solutions from the stock solution from 0.5 normal to 0.1 normal. The next step is to add 50 ml of this stock solutions which I have prepared in different concentrations like 0.5 normal acetic acid its 50 ml is taken in the measuring cylinder and this 50 ml is added to the reagent bottle which already contains the activated charcoal of 1 gram so here I have added 50 ml of 0.5 normal in bottle number 1. Now I shake it well and I leave it. Similarly I will add second solution to the second reagent bottle which already contains 1 gram of charcoal. But here you can see in the same measuring class if you are doing the measurements so you rinse again and again your measuring class and your apparatus so that the concentration of the previous solution will not going to affect the concentration of second solution so here i have made second solution so this 50 ml is added to the second reagent bottle i shake it i leave it now I will do the same exercise, the third solution I rinse first and then I will take 50 ml of this and then I will add it into the third reagent bottle which already contains 1 gram of charcoal. Now our third bottle is ready. Now I am going to add this 
fourth acetic acid solution but before that I rinse the measuring cylinder and I have taken the 50 ml of this and I am going to add into bottle number 4 and similarly I am going to add the solution of 0.1 normal concentration of acetic acid to the fifth number bottle and here you can see I again rinse the measuring cylinder and taken 50 ml of this and I am going to add to the fifth number of reagent bottle which already contains 1 gram of cha activated charcoal now the next step is we are going to titrate the acetic acid solutions before adsorption so I have taken 10 ml of 0.5 normal acetic acid and I am going to titrate it against 0.5 normal NaOH solution which I strandrized previously right so if you really want to know the standardization of NaOH you can go and check the previous video so here is the final reading of solution 1 that is 0 0.5 normal now I am going to titrate point, bottle number 3 solution so 10 ml I have taken I am going to add one drop of phenolphthalein here is the initial reading now I am going to titrate it so at the end point we will see the pink color of phenolphthalein which shows pink color in basic medium so is the end point and here is the final reading similarly we will do the same exercise with fourth and fifth solutions also and this this is what we are doing before adsorption means the solution which is still left in the measuring flask so we are going to titrate with that meanwhile our adsorption is going to be happen now fifth number solution so you just see I have taken it from the measuring flask I have added phenolphthalein here is the initial reading for the fifth number of acetic acid that is 0 0.1 normal acetic acid and here is the end point and here is the final reading now we are doing this after one hour so after one hour we are going to filter the acetic acid from the reagent bottle here I would like to suggest you few things first you will start this after adsorption with the last bottle 5 number bottle because it is having least concentration so least concentration to higher concentration we will go so there is no more effect will be observed if you are using the same apparatus right so here is the initial reading and I have taken 10 ml of acetic acid from bottle number 5 this is the titration after adsorption So here you should be very careful because in this concentration of acetic acid is very less. So I am doing it very carefully. So here is the end point which is about to reach. This is the end point. So every drop counts. So here is the reading for the last bottle or 0.1 normal 
acetic now we are moving towards four number bottle we filter it and this will few ml of this filter is used to rinse all the apparatus and after that if you are using dry filter paper then no need to throw it if you are using the wet filter paper then few ml of that you throw it because it can change the concentration because water is already there in the filter paper so from the filtrate i have taken 10 ml from the bottle number 5 after adsorption and this conical flask i already rinse with the filtrate right and now i am going to add phenolphthalein to this and now i will start the titration so here is the initial reading which is 2 and we are going to start titrate here is the end point and you can see the reading 5 point something now we are moving towards the bottle number 3 and i use this filtrate for washing my or rinsing my apparatus and after rinsing i have taken 10 ml of this filtrate to the conical flask so here again i am saying filter rinsing is very important in this experiment because very minor concentration change is there so here is the initial concentration and now we are going to start titrate so very minute concentration is changing so every single drop will counts right therefore you should be very careful at this point and here is the final reading now bottle number 2 so i have taken the dry filter paper and this first filtrate is used to wash or rinse all my this beaker conical flask and measuring cylinder here you can see i am rinsing all my glass wares which are going to be used in this titration and now from this filtrate i have taken 10 ml of this into the measuring cylinder and this 10 ml i am going to transfer into the conical flask now i am going to add in of clean indicator and here is the initial reading now we are starting the titration and here end point is reached now you can see the final reading the last one that is bottle number 1 and we filter it and the filtrate is again used to rinse all the apparatus and 10 ml of this i have taken and i am going to titrate it so i transfer it into the conical flask and to this i am going to add one drop of phenolphthalein and now we will start titration here is the initial reading which is 20 and so since this is very lengthy video and uh, i will do all the calculations of this experiment in the next video that is the part 2 video here is the end point and here is the final reading